What is up, my fellow degenerates, Snapcast mages? What's going on? This is Brad O'Brien from the Snapcast podcast. Here for something we haven't done in a while, an unboxing video. This stuff is so hot right now. We were very fortunate to have the opportunity to open some of this live and on the air, such as it were. Let's see if we can get this situated. I have... I have Promised for an increased quality in these unboxing videos. I'm going to do what I can. So you will notice we got two boxes out here, one box in here. If you've been watching these pack cracking videos, you probably already know. But we have four boxes of VIP boosters, two boxes of double masters packs. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to crack one of these. Maybe we'll do two of these, one of these, two of these, and then we'll call it a day. Or maybe we'll look at the box toppers in here. All right. But I know why you're all here and it's for the VIP packs. So let's start there. Uh, this is not my product, so I am going to be try and be particularly careful in the handling of these cards so that I can give them to their proper owner unmolested. I've uh, never opened one of these. Oh, look at that. They're shiny. Even the boxes are shiny. You're killing me. Nice work, Watsy. It's Boom. Double Masters VIP Edition. Let's crack one of these bad Larrys. What do you think? Still using undue amounts of caution with our razor knife here. I'm not even going to pull this plastic off this box. It looks like we have a glued top. A little bit of the plastic still hanging on here. Yeah, so there's some glue holding this on. So there really isn't a clean way to open it, even though they make that box look really pretty. For anybody that's watched any of these videos, you will see it's this kind of packaging. Oh, sweet. Voice Resurgence token. I see that right off the, right off the bat here at the back of the pile. First time ever. Cracking a VIP booster pack. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> mm, let's have a little background tunage. A braid, you guys. A braid. At common. Po new popper staple, a braid. Frogify. Ancestral Blade. I think this was downshifted too. Spicy. Oh, spicy. Classic art, Rex Age. Try and get these in a... Oh! -ho! There we go. We're starting to hit the stuff. Oh, man. So sweet. Foil Avenger of Zendikar. Another commander staple here, Lightning Greaves. Box topper. Oh, ho, ho. very nice. Very nice. Congratulations, my friend. Here are alternating different arts. Oh, oh, mama. That is one beautiful forest. And we have a clue, an ape. Plant token, a one plant token. That goes with the Avenger of Zendikar, I'm guessing. And our lovely Voice of Resurgence token. That's that's pretty spicy right there. Noble Hierarch, Avenger of Zendikar, Box Topper, Lightning Greaves, and Sword of War and Peace. Why do I feel like opening regular packs of this are going to feel like such a letdown in a minute? 
I hope you guys will stick with us. I will be perfect fitting probably some of those as many as I have before I pack them away for the evening. Let's crack another one of these bad Larrys. I don't know why. What is it about Larry that made him bad in the first place? There's some incan inconsistent manufacturing there in the... Uh, trying to get it on camera. The overlap of the glue is odd here. The assembly of these boxes. I assume they were machine assembled. Hey, there's another one of those sweet foil of braids. I'm going to guess that those are going to be relatively attainable. Oh, look at that. That's cool. So, again, turning it over to open it. Foil copy. Oh, that has a ridge down it. I don't know if that's a... Can you see that? That line going down the middle? I don't know if that's a misprint or if that's from the wrapping. Oop. We don't want to cheat. Let's flip it over. Okay. A braid. Relic runner. Foil TBR. Move this mic a little bit. For those of you that weren't excited enough about being able to play Tron directly out of this set, Veteran Explorer foil, another Is It Charm bobble. I mean, obviously the, the current prices are not what these prices are going to stay at, but still. <gasps> yeah, baby, here we go. Foil at, oh, oh, oh my God. Did you see what I just saw? Okay, hold on. Adnaz, Baleful Strix. The gentleman that uh, sponsored this cracking may very well play this card. Gorgeous. But what's behind it? <gasps> oh. oh my god, you guys, I just kind of... Oh, I made a mess. I'll be right back. Hold on. Whew. That's so sweet. Very excited. We've got our basics again. Oh, another forest. Well, wow. and it's interesting. This is actually my favorite planes art. I have several of them in foil. This whole printing looks different than the, the BFZ printing of that. Well, holy crap, you guys. That was pretty good. Let's take a break on these, and let's take a look at one of these I know I know all you want to see now are VIP boosters these are going to feel like quite the letdown after those VIP packs but don't worry we've got two more VIP packs to open we're just going to break it up how do you guys want to do this we got a double masters box topper want to crack the box topper first I know you want this first. This is like, we're either just pulling the band-aid off quickly or something. Let's see. Expedition map. This is like the meme. This is not necessarily what people want to open, but I think it's still such a playable card. Hey, we got a mythic light steel Colossus. That is Purdy. Let's just crack some of these packs. Old school. Man, that just came apart. It's so nice and easy. This, I mean, it's a master set, man. It just feels so good. Love that card. Veteran Explorer. Oubliette. Stoneforge Mystic. So, our two rares. Filterland, Stoneforge Mystic, a couple of foils. Not as exciting. Let's take a look. Oh, we lost our tunes. Man, I should have uh, 
Should have set up a playlist for this. Terrible at this. Corridor monitor. The Raven Inspector. I am looking forward to trying to draft this set. Heat Shimmer. Man, we got some jank rares here. We did get the foil of braid in this box as well. Very nice. Boom, boom, boom. I am excited to record the podcast tomorrow with Mr. Cooley. It's one of his favorite cards. Ever flowing chalice from Dice Factory. I'm gonna talk about how these box toppers have dropped in price. Classic. Hey, Rift, Oil Drum, I mean, it's not a box topper, Cyclonic Rift, but talk about a card with consistent value. For those of you just tuning in, which is nobody because this video is on YouTube, so you've been watching it from the beginning, but I'm sure Hey, Tron Land. I'm sure a great many of you are just sitting here patiently. <gasps> Ooh. Hello. Mr. F Mrs. Force of Will? I think that's a Mrs. And an Academy Ruins. That's cool. Haven't been crushing it with the foils yet, but that's exciting. It's always fun cracking magic packs. I don't. I don't understand how anybody can be in this game and not just love the cracking packs. Core Tapper, another one of Cooley's favorites right there. Rush of Knowledge. Inkwell, Leviathan, and Sharoom. Notice there's a lot less excitement in my voice when I'm not opening the box topper alt art mana crypt. More stirrings. Stirrings and stars, man. Those things are going to be literal pennies here pretty soon. I'm having a hard time not. Where's the redeemed? I was just thinking about making a green white commander deck. I was thinking about Gaddic Teague. Maybe we'll go rest the redeemed and go tokeny. Man, listen to Mr. George Leonard shred that guitar. Boom, 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 boom. Puzzle nuts. I was afraid they were going to put this whole set in there, but Vampire Hex Mage. I wonder if we'll get the lands. Now the filter land and austere command. Well, we can put that in that green white commander deck. That can go on our risk the redeem deck. That go on the risk redeem deck. Maybe it's maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's not worth it. Oh dear lord! I'll tell you what. I know there's only 24 packs here, but I'm still. I can't wait to get through these and get back to some of those VIP packs. The feeling of cracking that VIP pack. Path to Exile. Blasphemous Act. You know, I don't think I own one of these. I probably should run this in Nekusar. It's a red deck. Llama Mancer. Foil Rex Age. Uh, I would be very interested to know... Which of the new alt arts you guys don't like? Like, I'm on record. I am not a fan of the new Karn art. I know people are excited about the throwback. That's another card I wish I owned and didn't until just now. Hammer of Nizan. Yeah, see, I didn't, I didn't own that commander deck either. But, so, I'm not a huge fan of the 
old school new Tron arts. Just doesn't really do it for me. Enlarge, excuse me, rage reflection and sculpting steel. Oh, that would not be a $10 pack I would want to open. Is that what these things are going for? These are, are these going for more? These like $14 packs? What are these? You guys probably know better than I do. Nobody cares about the commons, man. But Treasure Keeper. That card, that's another one. Should be better than it is. Hey, another filter land and Doomed Necromancer? Who is that? Foil Frogify. Sweet baby, foil frogify. Gets quiet again when that song stops playing. So this is the official theme song to the Snapcast podcast. Or Mr. Mike Cooley and I try and talk to competitive magic players that have a casual interest in MTG finance. Now most MTG finance people will tell you, this is a bad idea. Don't just crack packs. Leon and Abunas. Oh, finally. That will definitely go into that Gaddock Teague EDH deck. Oil Mazabeth. Sweet. Boom, 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 boom. You guys are not getting the sound of the pack cracking. I, I apologize. I'm here just reveling in the sound of a pack cracking. Do you mind if I skip to the uncommons? You guys don't mind if I skip to the uncommons, do you? Boop. Spell skit. And Master of Ethereum. Chatter of the Squirrel. What the hell is that? Create a squirrel token. Flashback. So you get two squirrels for three mana. I guess. I guess I'm not. I'm not overly impressed in that. Somebody could probably yell at me in the comments about what an awesome draft card that is, and I can. Here's another downshift. Frickin' cast down is now in popper. Mine. This is not yours. This is mine. Okay, nobody laughed at that. Fine, whatever. I understand. Not everybody can appreciate my humor. Uh, sometimes I wonder if Cooley actually can't make a mind joke out of the tower. Map bubble. Another filter land followed up by a Lux Cannon. Uh, we're going to call that Shucks Cannon. Like, ah, shucks. We opened a Lux Cannon. Ding, ding, ding. And you crack a few packs, you start to get a feel for right where that uncommon lie. Anamorphos, Darksteel Forge, Mythic here, Progenitor Mimic, Pyrite Spellbomb, and Foil Is It Charm. Oh, baby. I wonder if we're going to find any of those in here. Yeah. Would be cool to have a second tune in this playlist. Sphinx Summoner. Warcrow Banshee, Goblin Artificer, Exploration. Definitely needed that for... Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Well, that was a good pack. I'm going to play three of those cards for sure. Got a few left here. Then maybe we'll go back to one of the VIP boxes. Still have two of those left sitting here. Whoop. Yeah, nailed it. 
Culling Dagus. Fetid Heath. Brings me back to my black white tokens days. Champion of Lamholt. Hey, I'll take the foil, foil chromatic star. Am I gonna end up being a Tron player after cracking this box? I mean we did we did get the sweet expedition map here. I have heard some theories that the non-foil box toppers are actually going to be rarer than the foils. So it may come down to, what do you want to play? Crop rotation. Reshape. We got a mythic Canada shift navigator and a foil cranial plating. For those of you that have listened to the Snapcast podcast before, I think even as, as recently as last week, I talked about how I am just on the slow train to building classic, classic affinity. I don't know why. I know it's it's really not a favorable card anymore. But I just really loved classic affinity. I mean, I hated playing against it. Vengavan. Crab vine, anybody? Drill. Demir. Mill. Venge vines. I guess it's cell time. Self mill. Nailed it again. Ravenous Intruder, Throne of Gift, Woodland Champion, Boon Reflection, and Joyra. Reduced from Mythic. The poor, the poor girl. That was not. Uh, that was another one that uh, I would not have been excited to spend ten dollars or more on. Do we nail it? Oh, we nailed it first shot. Wound, do a twa, lightning greaves, good to have. Wound reflection, ugh. Endless atlas, parasitic strix. That's that's some bunk. We uh, we were visited by the sweet kitty of death. Uh, maybe maybe you guys will get to meet Akasha on a future episode. This is not mine. This is power plant. Well, apparently we got an executioner's capsule that just wants to jump out at us. Ratchet bomb at rare. Really? Who's, whose idea was that? So remember that pack that we cracked that had the Karn Liberated and the foil engineered explosives? That was cool. Welding char, again, speaking of affinity. Trash for treasure, not really affinity. Sunforger, sword of body and mind. Oh, sweet foil ancient stirrings. I should get those for my Eldrazi decks that I've played over, over the years. Well, let's clear off some of this. Refuse. Don't don't judge me. I can I can hear the internet judging me right now. I am just putting these in here for the time. Oh look, we 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 ripped that right to the sweet force of will, bro. We're just gonna set this aside. Oh, wait. Uh, talking with somebody at my LGS recently. Oh, what sweet art that is. We don't really care about the card. As a matter of fact, I think Nick Blanchard was a little unhappy that that card was included. But the art is sick. Again, these cards are beautiful. Academy Ruins. I didn't own one of those either. That's fun. What do you think? Yeah. OK. 
Okay. We're just going to juice the rest of this video. Not going to make you sit through that whole other box. We're going to crack these two VIPs. We're going to crack that, that box open and just take a look at the box toppers and maybe call it a night. Steel Sabotage. I hate giving it away, but we have to flip it over to really open this up with some care. Here we go. Steel Sabotage. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Mm. It's it's too easy to almost spoil some of these things. Here we go. Nazarek Crawl Death Priest. Foil Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, oh, it's just so pretty. I don't even know. It's not worth probably, you know, it's probably not worth the pack, but God, is it gorgeous. Haha. <laughs> Ah, so that's what that looks like in foil. Like out of the coolest comic book ever. Yes. Sign me up. So in the first two, we got foil for us. How'd we do over here? <laughs> that, so far, that's three for three for foil full art for us. Clue mirror squirrel. Uh, can we get a moose token so that I can have moose and squirrel tokens? If you get that reference, leave a message in the comments. And uh, I think you're cool. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to check out the non-foil box toppers here, and then we are going to crack that last VIP pack. What do you think? Non-foil box toppers coming in five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Oh, hi. That's a cool one for the collection, eh? Uh, that's a spicy meatball. You see, it looks like a meatball. You get it? I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna want that. It might be me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Let's crack this last VIP pack, you guys. Again, I am super grateful to a good friend of the podcast who will remain nameless for letting us crack these on the Snapcast Podcast YouTube channel. We'll probably talk about this a little bit in the show tomorrow. I wish these boxes opened more cleanly. As far as packaging goes, I'm unimpressed with that. I do like this little sword print on the inside. That's very posh. Steel Sabotage, I think. Yeah, that was on top of the last pack, too. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Oh dear, it's getting a little late here. Up in Bangor, Maine. On a Wednesday night. Sorry. Revoke existence. Let's play that in a limited environment with swords. What do you think? More foil bubbles. Foil manamorphos. Oh god. Hi, <laughs> Market. Just. Woo! It's pretty dark. That's interesting. Those of you that listen to the show know I'm a humans player and I, I talk some smack about these. It's pretty cool. Let's see. 
Oh. Maybe these maybe this pack was for me. I don't know. Alright, can we go four for four on the full art lands? No. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching an unboxing video here on the Snapcast Podcast channel. We usually upload a video to YouTube every Thursday night with our podcast for the week. We also are available on all of your audio podcast hosts. 